Okay, hi guys, it's me Red. Before I start this video, this is like a bit of a warning. This video is incredibly long, so I would so recommend you check the description box. You can skip to each hairstyle, so enjoy the video. Hi guys, it's me Red, AG Lover, one, two, three, four, forever. Um, yeah, so today I will be doing 10 hairstyles for back to school. Really, I didn't know the name for this video because I guess you can say summer hairstyles, but that was meant to be for more or less the beginning of like July-ish time, but I never got around to doing it. So this video has turned out to be a back to school hairstyle video. You guys are going back I'm guessing this week or the next, I'll be going back to school like in two weeks or three weeks time. So, but I thought I'll do this for you guys and because we really needed a title. So let's get into these 10 hairstyles and I really hope you enjoy this video. So this hairstyle I like to call is the half pony. It's like Ariana Grande inspired and I think that it's incredibly cute and yeah. So let's get on to how you create this wonderful hairstyle. Hopefully your dog can look like Ariana Grande too. So for this hairstyle all you're going to need is a hair comb for your dog and you're also going to need a hair elastic. I'm using these mini ones. And you're also going to need a wire toothbrush. So all you need to do to start off with is brush your American Girl doll's hair. This is just to get any knots or any tangles. Then you're going to need to use your comb to lift up the top section of your doll's hair, like the top layer. You're just going to need that and lift it all up. It's really difficult, so that's why I would recommend using a comb. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to need to get your comb, just comb down the bottom bit so that bit isn't all fray and all messed up. It's a lot easier that way. Then take your section of hair and then brush it. Put your thumb underneath the top bit and then brush it. Put it into a ponytail shape. Then you're going to want to grab your hair elastic. If it snaps, just use a big one like the one on my wrist and just wrap it around like so and then just pull it at the side this will make it look a lot taller it will make it look a lot better it will just look much nicer and then i'm just going to comb it to get any tangles out pulling it again and there you go okay so the next one is one of my personal favorites it's called the twisted bun at the side to your head and well that's what i just like to call it it's really cute and yeah basically Okay, so you're going to split, split your dolls into, into two sections, two. and I've got one of the sections, and I'm just going to brush it out again to just get out any tangles. And then what you're just going for to need to do is my I personally wear this well. hairstyle when my hair is wet. It's pretty easy okay, to follow Okay, so once you've with, done all that, I this like has just got tangles style, out. You know, it, it helps. And then all you're going to do is, after you've done all that, you just go on to get the hair. So and all of it, not one top layer, and then just twist so it, just or twist twizzle it, like as I like to say. And then you just want to twist it, it's just turning the hair. Thin. And then you just go and, and lift it up, and wrap it, it around itself, around like so. Itself. It's pretty simple, it's great to, to do on wet hair. For a long time, and when you take it out, you'll get these beautiful, beautiful waves. As and waves. it looks really nice. And, and now we need to do the other side. So for this one, I'm doing it at the back. That one's at the side, but this one's like at the back, like an actual bun. And then we're going to do the same thing, but you just, it's like if you were doing a ponytail, it's pretty much the same thing. And then you just twizzle it around so it goes. So 
So this one I like to call the braided crown. It just goes around your doll's head. It's so simple, yet so elegant and lovely. I absolutely love this hairstyle. For this one you just go and to an elastic get a hair mini hair elastic and a, a bobby, bobby pin. pin. I'd recommend this on medium length hair, but and you could do it on long hair. A brush and a comb as well, don't forget that. So I'm just going to get all the tangles out again. This is just to double check, I mean I know I've done this about 10 times, but it's just to double check, it's always good. Also to get out any fray. And you just go want to do a regular braid. So now you've completed your braid, just lift it up so it goes across the back of your doll's head. It's pretty simple and you're also going to want to grab your bobby pin and tie off the end of your braid. You can do it all the way down to the bottom but because this is basically a tutorial I just thought I would just do it quickly. And then you're going to want to put it on top of your doll's head like so and then you're going to want to grab your bobby pin. When you've secured it in place with your hand, use your other hand to grab a bobby pin and secure it in place. So this is called the fishtail braid, a lot of people don't know how to do it, but I'm going to teach you how to do it. You're just going to need a hair elastic and a brush. So, uh, and a comb if necessary. So what you're going to want to do for this hairstyle is you're going to want to grab an outer piece of hair and then from one side and then another outer piece of hair and overlap some so they go on top of each other like that. Hold that in place with one hand and then get another piece of hair from the from the outer piece. Then overlap that and do the same thing but on the other side of the hair. But holding it in place with the other hand. So hold it in place. Then with the other hand, bring over another piece of hair. So your hands are working together really. I love doing this hairstyle because of how technical it is. You just keep on doing this until you finish your doll's hair. So hold it with one hand and bring another bit of hair across along with the other. So this hairstyle is called the messy bun. Not a lot of people know how to do, but some people do. Just grab a comb and, well a brush, sorry, brush your hair down i'm sorry if you can't see all of this one i didn't realize while i was filming it put all the hairs if you're doing a super duper high ponytail like i do on elizabeth if you have watched my videos before and then when i've done that i'm just gonna twizzle hair and once you've twizzled it just grab your hair elastic and put it on top it's like how we've done those two little side buns. So you put it on top like so. And you're done. This hairstyle is the low twisted pony. It did fail, but you guys get the idea. You're just going to want a brush and a hair bubble. It did fail, but you do get the point. You will, I promise. So you're just going to want to brush your doll's hair down and then you're going to want to put it into a ponytail and then you're going to want to open it up like the ponytail and then there'll be like a little gap in the middle and you're going to want to flip the ponytail into that gap so just open it see i did <laughs> i struggled with this a lot and in the end it just got all knotted and it didn't work out as it should have considering i had done this like an hour before to double check but as you can see things did get a little knotted and tangled but you guys do get the point hopefully you guys won't fail like i did i believe in you 
And yeah, I'm sorry, it failed, I know, but you get the gist of it. And this is the back bun hairstyle. It's pretty simple, but it's really, really cute. Okay, for so all you're going to need for this hairstyle is a hair bubble. And you're going to need a comb. Okay, so for this one, we're pretty much doing what we're doing in our high ponytail video and our twisted bun. So you're going to want to section off the hair so you get the top section, like so. Yep, and once you have done that, no, I think this is one you can't see properly. But once you do that, you're going to twizzle it around itself, like the bun thing. I'm sorry you can't see. This is the one that I said you can't see very well. And you just want to twizzle it around itself. I'm so sorry you can't see it, but hopefully I've, I've explained it enough so you guys understand. Have you seen on Instagram those beautiful messy braids? Well, I'm going to teach you how to do one. All you're going to need to do this hairstyle is just your hair elastic. You're going to want to split the hair into three sections. And for this, you're just going to want to do a normal braid. So then once you're done, just tie it off. And then how to get that messy look is just pull at it a little bit and then pull out any strands, like just pull some strands out a little bit and it just makes it look like I woke up like this. This one's so basic, I don't even have to tell you what to do, just braid. And for the last hairstyle, again, I don't have to tell you what to do. It's just a high ponytail. You just need to put your hair tie on, bring it around, like so, and then you're done. So thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope it isn't that long after I edited it, I really really hope you enjoyed it. Um, tomorrow I will be doing the um, giveaway winners, you do have all of the rest of today to enter and you do have a few hours of tomorrow. I mean for me when I will get the video up is about 5-6 o'clock that's a green witch meantime i'm guessing for you that's like 12 o'clock so very much i very much doubt that you guys are actually going to be able to get a video up by then but i do have to edit and everything i do have time you know i don't mind but please get your entries up fast if you do i know there are like three people that still need to do their entries because they said they were doing everything so i really hope you can enter thank you so much for watching this video and i really hope you enjoyed it bye for now people Bye, Red and Lizzie out.